not sure that it matters where you are, as long as you get back safely. Uh, I'm coming down. I see trees. Oh, I almost landed in a tree. Uh, I exploded. What? I have no idea why. Oh. Well, <laughs> so much for that idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's two Stephanie's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, at least we know that vehicle could get to orbit, I suppose. <laughs> if there is that. And yeah, we did some contracts, I guess. Yeah, we still got to do the transmitter Science recover. data from space, because yeah. <laughs> we didn't recover anything. Yep. However, we should now have the ability to make supersonic planes. Proper ones. Ah. Just did oh, you unlocked it, yeah. I just did a test flight in one. Uh, Alright, I might... I might make a new version of my gas guzzler. But put the fancy new engines on it and see how that goes. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Get out of here, Reginald. Okay, I'm clear. Oh, I think Capex died again. <laughs> I thought Stephanie's had died. Are you ready? Yep. Ooh. Yeah? Damn, that's a chonky engine. Yep. I'm not sure the extra two engines are needed. I've had to add a lot of in intakes to make them function properly, but... You ready? Uh, sure. Okay, race to the end of the runway. <laughs> See ya. What? Hey, you didn't do a start or anything. And we're up. Oh, I need a mode toggle for my engine so I can toggle the afterburner. Oh. Dang it. I don't remember. I didn't set up an action group. Afterburner's on. Yep. <laughs> did you set up ma an action group for yours? Nope. I just did it manually. Same. Now we should easily be able to hit those altitudes. Uh, 900 meters a second. Oh, I'm starting to get quite hot. You're going a lot faster than me. 600 meters a second and almost 8 k's in altitude. Still accelerating. Hitting 9 k's in altitude. What altitude are you at? Uh, 14-ish. Ah. What are you at? I'm at 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, <laughs> 24. Oh, I got my engines. Flame out. Yep. Uh, uh, 21. 22. I didn't even do a steep climb. I just took a chill. 23. Uh, I'm at 30. <laughs> I'm just kind of gliding along in no atmosphere. And engines conked out at 24.9. What do you reckon? Wait, oh, Stephanie's still in orbit. I can see from the map screen. Oh. <laughs> um, we're going to have to try and rescue Stephanie at some point. So I think with these new engines, maybe we should mount a polar expedition. Well, we should go and get those barometer readings and the temp, the uh, oh, yeah. crew reports. Maybe we should head towards those crew report locations now. Uh, the ones that are south. Oh, they're pretty far. Do you not have enough fuel? Oh, I probably do. Uh, turn off your afterburners because they chew through fuel. Yeah, yeah. My afterburners are off. Oh, man. It's a bit rough activating the afterburners. Um, Manually. One at a time on the yeah. ones on the sides. They look like a flaming phoenix. Well, all three of these are below altitude. Are they? Yeah. Below 19.4 uh, and 19.6. Well. Oh. So, uh... Okay, one of the orange ones is above. Yeah. Below, below, below. Yeah, sometimes they're sneaky and there's like three below and one above. Yeah, which is the case with those barometer readings up there. I think you're going to uh, arrive considerably earlier than me. Because you're going faster. I'm cruising at 775-ish. 
And I'm cruising at 904. This thing's got some zip to it. And there's another thing we have to factor in as well. What's that? We're going to have to slow down a fair bit. <laughs> at these speeds, we're going to get carried through those areas real fast. True. I figured once I got a bit closer, I was going to turn off my afterburners. Yeah, but even then, we might have to dial the thrust back a bit. I don't fancy trying to land anywhere but the KSC without light, without daylight. Yeah, yeah. Could get pretty rough. Entering nerd secret. Crew report. Done. Right, coming around for target number two. Oh, it takes ages to turn around. One done. Right, you may as well start your turn to head back home. Well, it's not showing me your completed ones. Oh. But it might do once you complete the third. Right, well, I'm coming up on it now. Uh. Not completing for you either? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the one that you did hasn't completed for me. Yep. I'm gonna cross paths. Close to. I don't know if it's going to be close enough for me to see you though. No, I don't think so. And in this darkness, I don't, I really don't think so. Alright, mission complete on my end. Okay. Um, mine doesn't say that it's complete, but I got a message saying that the contract was completed and the marker has disappeared. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, okay, so I guess we're heading home then. Yep. And I hope I get there with some fuel left. I am going to try to fly to the Woomerang launch site. Oh. So I'm already pointed that direction. And... They're not too different. And it'll be daytime. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> How's your fuel looking? Uh, 670 remaining. Are you still on afterburners? No. Ah. Uh, no, I decided to keep them off. That's so going to be a race. Can you get back to the KSC without afterburners faster than I can get to the other side of the planet with afterburners? I'm really worried I'm going to run out of fuel. Yeah, ditching in the ocean at night. Famously not fun. I'm not sure what my most efficient flight profile is, though. Whether I shut down two of my engines. I guess if you're at high altitude, you'd want to use less fuel because there's less resistance to push back against you. How can I go? It's closer. So I, can't, I just, you can't land on unknown terrain in the middle of the night. I mean, the safest bet for that would be ocean. You're probably going to get less bits back, but you're more likely to be successful at not dying. You reckon? Yeah. Just try and belly flop as slow as I can. Yeah, because you kind of like tail down if you aim to stall it just above the water. Yeah, if you just, if you cut your speed down low enough. Oh, then I'm more efficient with the afterburners off. The distance travelled. Hmm. So I've burnt a quarter of my fuel and look at where I am. I barely made yeah. it anywhere. Yeah, I think at the high altitude, the afterburners are more efficient for distance travel. Could be. Oh, I can't believe I have to do an ocean ditch. It's not good. It's not looking promising. It's really not. Down to 320 fuel. Wait, I just got a text message from Stephanie. She said, stop complaining. Poor Stephanie. Oh. Hopefully I'll start seeing some sunlight soon. How much fuel have you got left? 246. Oof. And I just accidentally flamed out, so I just lost a heap of momentum and altitude. Oh, that's no good. But you haven't been flying with your landing gear down this whole time, have you? <laughs> no. In fact, that's an interesting question. In Kerbal Space Program, should you have your landing gear down if you're trying to do a ocean landing? Well, if I can successfully get to this other launch site, then I should be able to fly to the the North Pole. True. I would think you can pretty confidently fly to the North Pole, though. Well, I'm worried about sucking elves into my intakes. Not worried about the reindeer? 
Mm, I'm more worried about the elves. The reindeer have antlers that stop them from getting in too far. 130 fuel remaining. Oof. Where are you on the map here? Oh yeah, you still got a ways to go. I'm gonna fall short, but not by a does like a huge amount. It's kind of frustrating. Are you still running all the engines? Yeah. All right. I have 77 fuel remaining. I'm gonna try and gently coast in for a um, an ocean landing. I can just barely see the last bits of daylight ahead of me. We're approaching the sunlit part of the planet from opposite sides. <laughs> yep. While we've been doing this, Stephanie's almost done a whole orbit of the planet. <laughs> She's probably done a few. She's coming over the top of me again. Oh, uh, we'll have to make the Stephanie Memorial Space Station. Oh. Starting to see some sunrise. Nice. I'm losing the very last bit of light that I caught up to. Oh. I can't see the KSC, but I can see the mountains behind it. Uh, you haven't set it as a target? Yeah, yeah, I've got it set as a target, but I can't see it. Oh, is it too low on the scope? Uh, it's too far away. No, 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 I can see it on my scope. I can't see it. In, oh. That's in. No visual identity. I'm going to see how far I can make it with my throttle set at just below a third. And 70 fuel remaining. Oh. Is it worth trying to land at the island airfield? just that little bit closer oh i mean it's so be... rough it is but i don't i don't think you're gonna get close enough that it's gonna be a an issue you could be right oh i'm a glowing firebird shooting through the sky i am inky black against inky black Oh, I see sunrise! Well, you're getting pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> I really am. This is killing me. I'm down to 48 fuel. Probably should have tried for the airfield. I might have made it. But the airfield's still between you and the KSC. Yeah. You can still go for it. I don't know whether it's got lights. I don't think it does. Yeah, so I'm better off landing in the ocean then, realistically. 40 fuel remaining. I'm falling so close. It hurts so much. <laughs> 30. 30 fuel? Yeah. Oh, holy moly. Might just make it 25. Oh, I can see the KSC. Oh, nice. 20 fuel remaining. You've got a fair amount of altitude. You will have quite a long glide range. Yeah. I'm hoping to land on the grassland next to the KSC because I don't like my chances of trying to hit the runway. Yeah, yeah. I really can't see anything though. There is just this one spot of light in the distance. All right. Cutting afterburners. 18 fuel remaining. 15. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh man, my intakes are glowing red. Oh, 13. I think I can make out coastline. I can make out coastline. Oh. Can't tell what lights I'm looking at. Oh, okay, now I can see the runway. Yeah, I'm off to the side of it. Landing gear down. 10 fuel remaining. Oh. 600 meters altitude. Jeez, I think you might beat me. <laughs> I did time dilate a few times. Time warp. Ah. Uh. Because it was just going to be... It'd be hours, this flight, otherwise. Okay, pulling up. I can see the ground. 60 meters a second. 100 meters up. Gentle landing, gentle landing, gentle landing. After all this, I don't want to crash. I'm down! I made it! 
Good job. Ten point five five liters of liquid fuel remaining. I am. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm at the location, but I don't see the launch site anywhere. Oh, that's not good. Might just be too high. It's possible. I'm gonna come and watch you because I am back home and I'm feeling good. <laughs> It should be on the, like, it should be to the right over that, over the mountains right now. Yeah, it should be down here in this valley. Yeah, maybe go down closer to the ground. I can't believe you've still got 500 fuel left. <laughs> it should be down there somewhere, according to my GPS. Wait, is that something down there? Oh, yeah. What is that? Yep, I think that's it. Oh. That is very small. I think we were both expecting more. Yeah. Because I've never been to this place before. Me neither. Oh, ground's a bit rough. Just a bit. You've managed. Oh! Oh! oh <laughs> the power slide to finish. <laughs> there we are. Warmering launch facilities. Uh, crew report. Kerbin's grasslands. Oh, I do have a problem though. What's that? I can't get out. Because your canards block it. Yep. Yeah, it's blocking the hatch. Whoops. Well, <laughs> flew all the way here. I can't even get out and have a look around. Oh well. Good job, Kavak. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. Uh,. So next time we should probably get back to exploring space and uh, unlocking stuff so that we can get to the moon and start planning our Duna missions. Yeah. Which is not next week, but, you know, in the future we need to do that to make that progress. Yes. Yes. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. See you next time, everybody.